This Hubble picture of NGC 6572 shows the intricate shapes that can develop as stars expel their atmospheres. You can see the central white dwarf star, the origin of the nebula, now a faint, hot, white dwarf. 6572 only began to shed its gases a few thousand years ago, so it is a fairly young planetary nebula. As a result, the material is still quite concentrated, which explains why the nebula is abnormally bright. As it becomes more diffuse, it will dim. The Twin Jet Nebula is a striking example of a bipolar planetary nebula. Bipolar planetary nebula are formed when the central object is not a single star, but a binary system. The nebula's size increases with time, and measurements of this rate of increase suggest that the stellar outburst that formed the lobes occurred just 1,200 years ago. NGC 6153 is a planetary nebula that is elliptical in shape, with an extremely rich network of loops and filaments, shown clearly in this Hubble image. However, this is not what makes this planetary nebula so interesting for astronomers. Measurements show that 6153 contains large amounts of neon, argon, carbon, and chlorine, up to three times more than can be found in our solar system. Although it may be that the star developed higher levels of these elements as it grew and evolved, it seems more likely that the star originally formed from a cloud of material that already contained lots more of these elements. This new detailed Hubble image shows a planetary nebula in the making, a protoplanetary nebula. A dying star, hidden behind dust and gas in the center of the nebula, has ejected massive amounts of gas. Parts of the gas have reached tremendous velocities of up to 1.5 million kilometers per hour. That's 932,000 miles per hour.